and a very big thank you to the RRG Group, who are my latest sponsor and will be throughout the season, going home and away, all over Europe, the FA Cup, of course, the Carabao Cup as well, and in the Premier League. Thanks for your support, guys. And what a beautiful city Norwich is. Uh, freshly up as well into the Premier League from the Championship last season. I'm sure this will be a tough game. I'd like to welcome today RRG Group, which is my new sponsor, one of two now that sponsor the vlogs on my YouTube channel throughout the season, along with Hot Click Marketing. So thanks very much for them for supporting what I do. And it's nice to be down here at this beautiful city early on in the season when the weather's still pretty decent as well. Uh, and there are plenty of fans here in short sleeves as well uh, looking forward to this game. I think this could be a tricky-ish one because they're a newly promoted side into the Premier League. Pucky, a striker, very much on form. And City, of course, today having to adapt to not having Americ Laporte in defence. I'm sure they can cope with that, but it certainly proves a little bit of a challenge for the Blues. So let's see what City fans who made the long trip down here to Norwich have got to think. And, uh, of course, it will make you think about what you're expecting from today's game. Because as I record this, anything can happen. We are in picturesque Norwich. Uh, is this a good journey for you, a good trip down? Right. We're from Yarmouth, <laughs> so it's quite easy. <laughs> You're from Yarmouth. Yeah, well, I'm from Manchester. Yarmouth. <laughs> well, I live in I mean, Yarmouth. Great Yarmouth yeah. Right, so tell us what it means to you then to have a game down here. It's fantastic. Great, yeah. absolutely great. Actually, I actually see the city side that yeah. we are, the classic side, just doing. We're going to win. We're going to win. But how many? We're not being arrogant like United. Is it? But we are <laughs> class, aren't we? I just want to see Davis Silva from last time. That'll be for me. Classic. They're optimistic today, they're a newly promoted team. Obviously they've got a striker who's on form. Do you worry or do you just take this as another City win? I can't see it being a challenge to be honest. I'm, I've seen them against Chelsea and I thought they were unlucky at times against Chelsea. Um, especially with the, the new guy up front, the striker that did so well in the Championship last year. So I think if we underestimate Norwich, we could be in trouble, but I don't think they will. I think the City will give them a bit of respect today. Certainly, I've got to say, certainly a team that deserve credit. They've not, they've not come up. They're not like Huddersfield, let's put it that way. No. They they've can come up the determined to play the Premier League away. Yeah. They'll, they'll play an attacking game, I think. So oh, yeah, of course they will. I think, like, like I said, if you, if you underestimate them, they will punish us. Are Norwich dangerous because they're a, a new team? Can be, yeah. You don't want to underestimate them. They've got a decent striker as well, I think, at, at the moment. Yeah. So this, this is sort of games. You're looking at it as a potential banana skin. I mean, they wear yellow, so yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> point. Yeah, you can say that. Um, I think I think we should still be eating comfortably though. I'm gonna, I'd probably say about four-one today. Four-one. So you're pretty relaxed about it all. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? I don't think they'll score. It was just a sailing for it. Let them have the banana skin and try and slip past, but they won't. They won't. I think we'll beat them about 3 4 2 because Norwich should a bit attacking, aren't they? So, fancy 3 or 4 2, but um, as long as that VAR don't get involved, then we'll be alright, won't we? Because you know that Liverpool and the referees are using that to try and keep us off the top. But we've got to start beating teams by big scores because otherwise they'll have us over, definitely. What do you think of coming down here to Norwich? I mean, it's... lovely place. Sun's out. Just wanna, we've got to make the most of it while the sun's out. Beer. In a couple of weeks, it'll be freezing. We'll all big coats on. We'll all be going to the away games. It's freezing. So it's nice to wear shorts, uh, sleeves on, and all that lot, and get uh, out and enjoy the sun. We're staying overnight in the Holiday Inn, so had a couple of beers over there, and uh, lovely night, lovely day for it, isn't it? Has it always been like that when you've come down here? Always straightforward. Oh no, 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 not always straightforward. We came down here back in uh, it was the late eighties, late eighties, and we got a minibus of us um, stopped off in uh, in Newark on the way down the night before. And we've got to have a pint, a couple of pints, and then drive out to a lay-by and keep it out before we went into Norwich. And then when we got out of the bus, there's loads of loads of lads running around with baseball bats. And apparently we walked into a, a gang fight by three kids between Newark and Norwich. And they just decided to join gangs on us and 
try, try and chase us round the town. So we went into the pub, asked the guy in the pub to ring the cops. He wouldn't let us ring the cops, so we had to run out of the pub, run back round the pub, all jump in the minibus, and then try and get out of town. So we left one guy behind, but we eventually got him back in. Got into got into Norwich about was it seven o'clock in the morning, and then out, went out to Great Yarmouth. A game of football Whoa! on the beach. <laughs> Very different today. Very different yeah. to win. Yeah, yeah, I was expecting a win. They've got a lot. Of, they've got a lot of players out. Yeah. I expected a you know, fairly comfortable win. They played well. It's uh, early season for a newly promoted team. That's always a dangerous time to play. Isn't yeah, it? so they haven't been. They haven't been. Uh, they've been quite good as well, haven't they? I mean, Brookie's played well. Got some good goals. Uh, so. Yeah, they'll be up for it, definitely. That's both teams I want to play team. So. Personally, I think today it'll be a 4 0 win for the boys. What are you on? What are you I, just, I, just, I just think it'll be a. Uh, uh, I don't know. 0 0. Tell us about how many you go and where you meet and all that sort of uh, Yeah, Stoney's uptown um, in Cap Hill in Denver. Um, about 30 to 40 of us every week. How do you become a City fan then in the States? Um, just over the years, like, hated United mainly. <laughs> what, what makes being a Blue special? You know, you can probably tell us a different angle than the, the Mancunian fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, love our fans, sense of humour. That's my favourite part about our fan base. Uh, City fans have a great sense of humour. We take everything lightly. It's, it's amazing. You've got Paul Power on your flag. Why have you got Paul there? Most appearances for City. Simple as that, mate. Simple. Is he a bit of a hero, of yours? Oh, legend, mate. That Stop goal, Hutch that goal against Ipswich was like no wobble, wasn't it? Stop I mean? love the power. It's as simple as that. That's where the word power come from. From power. No, Paul from Eaton Norris. Oh, so you're right. Yeah, yeah. So you find anyone in Stockport doesn't, doesn't like the power. Doesn't happen, mate. Yeah. Together at the match. No, definitely. Sadly, I'm actually not going to the match. I haven't got tickets, oh. but um, but I'll be watching and uh, cause it's on Sky, isn't it? And I'll I'll be yeah I'll be with the Halifax Supporters Club, of which I am a member. Oh, are you Hello. confident the as Halifax a Norwich Sports fan? Club. Are you confident today? Or did you come here to admire City? That is Manchester Norwich. City. <laughs> <laughs> But whenever we're talking, I always say my city, and yeah. you say your city. So you know, we both we both <laughs> cling very much to being city. Definitely, so, we're yeah. very much cities at heart. Um, yeah. As long as we give a good account of ourselves, which I'm confident we will do, then I'll be happy. Who's going to win? City. City. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the game. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I enjoy drawing and I think I learn a lot from uh, from drawing buildings as an architect and I think it's very important you carry on doing that rather than relying on computers. Go and see the building and experience it in the flesh. What are you up to with your latest one? Well, I'm just doing a quick sketch of the, of the cathedral. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, it uh, never turns out as I want it. <laughs> Maybe that's the same with football. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a journey all the time and just sort of appreciating the building. Paul here. Uh, local game for me today, I live around the corner, so uh, one of the Norwich Blues. Um, although I'm old school, I'll settle for a scruffy 1-0. Uh, I think with the gaps they'll leave, we could get a couple. So uh, three points are all that matter today, doesn't it? So uh, we've had some big wins down here over the years. So when you say you're one of the Norwich Blues, that means yeah. supporters club? Yeah, yeah, there. Norwich Blues, yeah, they've been going quite a few years now. Uh, about 20 members, uh, they'll be dying for tickets today, we don't know whether they'll, whether they'll get them or not, but uh, yeah, there'll be a few in here I think today. So. Supporter. Absolutely, yeah, that's why I've got this ridiculous accent, yeah. For the people who've never been to Carroll Road, tell me about this ground. Um, well, my, my brother used to sponsor, sponsor Norwich City, on with the windows. Uh, the year they won the uh, Milk Cup and the day the, the, sta the stand built down. But uh, 
Yeah, I, I came here when I was a little boy because I wasn't old enough to, to travel to Manchester to go to football then. So I seem, used to come quite a lot in, in the old days. Is there a noisy end? Is there a noisy end? Um, it used to be this park end, obviously, when it was all standing, but uh, you know, now it's a city bit. Now it's a city bit. Yeah, this is a noisy bit now, yeah. Time then in City trailing by two goals to one. It was a late goal just before the break that put City back in the game. Before that, two chances that Norwich scored, but more or less two attacks. Aim Sterling hit the post. And City not quite at their best today. They've got to show courage in the second half and turn this around because this is sort of game. Lose after win, really, to keep the pressure on Liverpool. So congratulations Not always the results that you predict, but it's still a long way to go with City's uh, quality and attack. You never know what could happen in the second half. So half time, City have to come in from behind in this one for a goal down. I talked to you before the game, we've seen how it's unfolded so far, what have you made of it? I think City have attacked, but they haven't really made any penetration. They haven't, the final pass into the penalty area hasn't been sufficient. It hasn't been of this su sufficient quality. We've been caught on the back foot, two counter attacks, well, one counter attack, one set piece. We conceded at home to Tottenham with a similar set piece, but we did it again today. That's going to be rectified for the rest of the season. Pep's going to look at that. We're not looking the best at the back at all. You were very opposition before the game, are you feeling now? It's a lot to miss there, but I think, I think we've underestimated Norris to be fair. Very much so. I think we've not been clinical there when we've had the counter attacks. And I think get the Bruyne run and then see if you take it from there. That's that's what I'm saying. I'll ch change my uh, score prediction anyway. 3 2 now, mate. 4 2. 4 2. Obviously missing the port, Stones and Ottomendi, that was their first chance to show that they could come without him and they didn't show it at all. I mean, I thought the only shining light was Roger, they thought he had a great game, but everyone else, I can't say there was a, a standout performance apart from Roger, they thought everyone else had a poor game. Five games in, you can't say too much, but five points, the five points in front now, I think, so it's a long way to go here, a long way to go. We defended Paul in, in times. Um, they played well at the battle, to be fair to him, and we, we still could have got, it, got into it. Could have got into it in the last few minutes, but that's all there is to it. Are you blaming the defence entirely then today? No marking from the corner. Second goal, everybody runs to one man instead of one peeling around the back. Third goal, schoolboy error. You've got to give some credit to Norwich. They defended well. They set up well and they fell back into shape extremely quickly. Poor goals we gave away and that was the difference. End of story. Got Daniel first, we deserve to get beat Beeler today. And how does that leave you now as you move as you go along? Um, not bothered, not worried. We'll still win it. Still win it, definitely. End of series, we'll definitely will win it, yeah. Scouts has got a chance, got a chance. Digging into your optimism there. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Bad day in the office, that's all it was. Bad day in the office. Deflated. I've come all this way from Manchester, from Brighton, and I just can't, words, can't express how I feel. What went wrong today? I have absolutely no idea. Phil? Everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. What I'll say is, for all the 18 to 25s that got tickets today, 
welcome to what it was like for 18 to 25 years for the rest of us, us old timers. Good luck to Norwich, enjoy it. Good luck to Norwich, enjoy it. We give them three goals, they've made the most of it. Character building these defeats, aren't they? I can think of other phrases. <laughs> character building. I've got enough character for a lifetime. Good luck to Norwich, we give them three goals, awful. The one player I thought was solid throughout was Rodrigo. Tremendous game, the rest of them. Centre halves were awful. I think we do need to buy a centre half in January because Ottomendi's not going to be around next year. I thought <laughs> that we fell into a trap of turning up and expecting to win, and they wanted it far more than we did. I thought that we brought on De Bruyne far too late, and they were hungrier than us, and we went through the same period last season. And frankly, I was very disappointed. Norwich deserved what they got. Sorry, they were better than us on the day. City fans and the tourists are still being optimistic even in uh, disappointing days. How do you look at the, the big picture? Can you do that today in this situation? I have been a City fan for 50 odd years. I'm so used to looking at the bottom of the table thinking, Ooh, we're five points clear of relegation. Yeah, stuff it, of course. There's a long way to go. Beat Liverpool home and away. Hey. Um, and what's that other team that Reds thing? Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, it would be fine. Yeah, it would be fine. Anything could happen. Well, Norwich, Norwich deserved it, I think. They, they had the hunger, they had the desire. Come on, Ethan. He's got to learn that it's not always going to go how you want it to go. You know, being a Man City fan for 40 odd years, you win some, you lose some. You've got the good times coming. He's got to have more good times than bad. You've got to learn to smile, keep your chin up. Onwards and upwards. And you're a local man. You live. Right, there, yeah, you? yeah. I live in Norwich now. Yeah, I live in Norwich now. But so it's going to be hard for you now. Or? Yeah, that's what I'm saying to him. When he goes to school, he's going to get all his mates have a go at him. But I said I had that for 40 odd years and more. So got to put up with it. You know. You're going to be smiling more than you're going to be sad. You've got to smile. Right? You've got to smile, ain't you? We're Man City yeah. fans, and that's what I've got to bring him up to be. If you want to be a Man City fan, you've got to keep your chin up, smile. You know, just a, just one game, isn't it? Right? Norwich played well, you can't argue with it, but we did gift him three goals. Once again, first, first corner we can't defend, we can't score from a corner. Their first breakaway they scored from, and normally we can get over that and come back. But that third goal was just a joke. That killed the game off, really, and we just come back from, come back from that. But fair dues to Norwich, you know. I can't see us winning the title with Stones and Otamendi at the back end. Sorry. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought City were pretty poor, as in Man City. Uh, obviously, created a couple of chances near the end, but you know, overall, Norwich you know, probably deserved the win. I mean, were you torn at all in this game? Yeah, I was, yeah, because obviously, well, we want to get points, but also any points that City lose, you know, it could cost them the league. So, you know, it's a really bad day for Man City. They were off the, off the pace today, no doubt about it. What do you think of the title race generally? Is this a blow, or do you still believe City can do it? Well, it's the way Man City defended, you think other teams will think without Laporte, you know, you've got a chance of scoring goals. And you know, I know we only had three chances and scored all three, but you know, it just looked vulnerable at times. And so, you know, it's a bad result for Man City. But obviously, for Norwich point of view, it's a, no one expects us to beat Man City at all. It's a great result for Norwich. Well, it is for us because you know, it's an extra three points that we didn't think we were going to get, and it also adds up to the confidence of the team and the, the fans. You heard the fans in there. You know, you're playing against one of the best teams in world football, probably one of the best Premier League teams ever. And you know we weren't overawed at all. It wasn't like we were hanging on. You know, like we got a lucky goal. We scored three goals against Man City, so you know, amazing. There are days like this for every football team, whichever football team you support. And these are the uh, I'd call them character building days. Are the days when you find out your own players, your own supporters, how they bounce back. And City, of course, play next in the Champions League on Wednesday. A real tester, of course, for fans to get to Ukraine to watch that game against Shakhtar Donetsk, but here against Norwich, I was a little bit worried before the game that Norwich would be excellent opposition, that they proved to be, great home support, really buoyed up, they're a relatively new team to the Premier League and I thought they played really well. City didn't play as well as we know that they can do, still late on I thought they might just snatch the victory, but the bottom line is that uh, City lost this one, it is only one defeat. Next up is, uh, in the Premier League anyway, is the home game against Watford. I'll be walking around the stadium, of course, doing my vlog as usual if you see me out and about. 
come and say hello and be part of the uh, the Manchester City vlog. So thanks very much for your support and I'll see you again next time. And remember, even on the bad days, it's always great to be a blue. And as ever, a very big thank you to Hot Click Marketing who can get your company to the top of Google searches. So give them a call. And thanks for your support, guys.